All right, so this next one is the standing pike, okay? So again, you're gonna to wanna to get your feet uh, together or a little bit apart. All right, you're gonna squeeze the VMO, which is that teardrop muscle. You're gonna think about driving your knees through the back of your legs. You're gonna be in a tall position like this. Then one vertebrae at a time, you're gonna fold down. I like calling it diving down. Again, keeping the legs nice and straight. And then you're here. Okay. Now again, the key is keeping the legs straight. If you are trying to touch the ground and your knees bend, you are not stretching. Okay. So even if you fold forward or dive down and you keep your hands here, that's fine. If you keep your hands here, that's fine. Or if you use a yoga blocks, you can do the same thing, right? Yoga box to me is a great way to start, okay? And as you get better, you can turn them over. And as you get even better, you can do this. Okay? And as you get even better, which I'm not at yet, you can put your hands on the floor and your palms on the floor. But palms to yoga blocks, Pretty good. All right. So the key is again keeping your legs nice and straight. All right. Squeezing a VMO, which are these little teardrop muscles. Drop your knees through the back of your legs. That's what you're thinking about. Just folding forward and down straight down. And also keeping your chest as close to your quads as possible is another good thing to think about. So as you're going down, this wouldn't be good, all right? You wanna go down and try to stay within this sort of small room, if you will, all right? So that's the standing pike.